Let's try Trader Joe's chicken flavor ramen soup. Okay, since so many of you were interested in the last Trader Joe's fiasco review that I did last time, I thought I would give their other noodle soups a try on C.S. Slurp on MSG Mondays. So today um, we picked up some noodles from Trader Joe's in the States. So this one here is a cup noodle, chicken flavor, it seems pretty standard. You got a normal cup size here, you can cook it with boiling water or in the microwave. Um, we shall see what happens. I mean, instant ramen soup sounds really weird to me. It's just instant ramen. We ever know that ramen is a noodle soup, but I digress. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so we have our noodle bowl here. We have our seasoning powder as well as our seasoning oil. Begin by adding in your seasoning packet as well as your seasoning oil and covering that with hot boiling water. We're gonna seal that and then let that cook for six minutes. We're going to go ahead, open that up, and give it a bit of a stir. This is what the noodles look like. Let's give this a try. So this finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Well, that's enough for me. I will comment that these noodles are gummy, like as if they're not fully cooked yet. And it's strange because this is like a six minute cook time cup noodle, which to me is not convenient at all. Like for me, it has to be like three minutes for a cup noodle this size. So that was a bit strange. Um, but I will say that the noodles are thicker in texture. They're not, um, they're not like as, as instant, quote unquote, as others. And I'm really curious to see how they compare these noodles. So we've never had a noodle quite like this texture. Um, so it's really, really different. The gumminess, the uncookedness, it just it was weird. You saw in the video, like it was very clumpy, very um, hard to separate the noodles. So that was a bit strange. Um, the broth, I would say, is probably the better selling point of the noodle package. So it does feature real chicken broth in it that has been dried, as well as chicken fat. So you do get that richness in the broth. They do have their seasoning oil, which basically is just sesame oil and not even the toasted kind. So that was a little bit weird to me because sometimes they would just like put it in sesame oil and call it Asian. Um, doesn't exactly work that way. So it's really lacking in depth. Um, I just feel like the broth is missing a little bit of something, a little bit of extra umami and actually probably needs a little bit more salt in my opinion, which is very rare for me to say when it comes to grating instant noodles because usually they're too salty. So um, the flakes itself is just minimal. A couple of like scallions here and there. I saw maybe one carrot, so nothing crazy, but it doesn't lend anything to the flavor at all. Um, these ones were um, definitely not my favorite. Um, it's something I would never, bye again <laughs> and with that being said unfortunately i'm gonna have to give this another one out of five like i don't know what trader joe's doing but like maybe you stick with the real snacks that y'all do but this one was definitely a failure and i definitely would not venture on trying any more of these flavors again if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe in the link down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out we'll see you next week bye